Good morning, everyone. So today we are in Humble, Texas at the Texas Bacon Festival. So uh, it, it's a little warm today, not too bad. It's a little muggy, but overall not, not too hot. It's, uh, I don't know, what's it say, 84 degrees. So weather's nice and it smells like bacon here in Humble. So we're gonna go in and check this out. I am wearing an appropriate hat today with uh, my Graceland patch on it because Elvis was a, a huge, huge fan of bacon. <laughs> in fact, uh, there's a, a sandwich that he would load up all the guys into uh, the Lisa Marie airplane and they would fly from Memphis all the way to Denver. And it was a uh, big piece of French bread with peanut butter and bacon on it. And then they would slice it up and serve it. No, you're not into it? Uh, but uh, so he was a huge fan of bacon. So I'm wearing my my Graceland Elvis hat today for uh, for this bacon extravaganza. So we're gonna go and check that out. Let's go. So it's being held in this big outdoor pavilion, and on the other side of it is kind of a a ring where they have a band playing, and so lots of vendors all set up selling stuff. We're gonna go hunt down the bacon stuff and see what we can find. Look at this. Cup beer, bacon, guns, and freedom. Not today, Heifer. Oh, funny. Funny, oh look. We've got belly of the beast bacon over here. All right, we've got a bunch of different bacon treats here, bacon wraps, bacon burgers, pork belly. Mm, let's go see what they got on the grill. Mm. Cooking up bacon. It smells great. So this is honey bacon. Oh wow, it looks good. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And that was a dollar a slice. So not bad. And then Ange got some lip glosses or something. Are they bacon flavored lip glosses? No, they're, they're honey. Bee. Okay. <laughs> That's they're how honey get flavor. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna we're gonna try this out. Let me flip the camera around. Alright, so here we go. We're getting into this and it, it is sticky. Nice. Uh-huh. That's really good. That makes bacon really good. Because I'm not a big bacon eater, but that makes bacon good. It's got a little spice on the back end. Can you taste that spice in the back of your mouth? Maybe it's just me. But Maybe it was the bite you got. It tastes like when you're eating bacon at home with pancakes mm. and you get maple syrup on it. bacon. <laughs> it's good for you. <laughs> it's tasty. It's healthy. Oh, wow. That's good. What do you got there? Bacon queso. We're each going to try it because there's enough. Okay. Okay. If I like it, maybe we can get it. Go for it. Does it taste bacony? Huh. You want to try no. That's good. All right. So we're gonna try bacon, bourbon, toffee, chocolate chip. Try that one. And what else do you want to try? And we got the maple. Bacon. 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 Let's try this one. All right, princess. Try your your maple bacon pecan. Good. I don't really taste the bacon that you want to try. Well, this one is the chocolate chip. Okay. Bourbon toffee bacon. No, not strong enough bacon flavor. I mean, I guess that's good because you probably don't want to taste the bacon. I do. <laughs> that's the whole point. I can taste the bourbon. Yeah. But I can't taste the... Not that I'm a bourbon drinker, but I can taste it, but I can't taste the bacon in it, so. All right, off to the next booth. We're on the hunt for a better bacon flavor. Farm fresh 
bacon. I like that shirt too. I did the math. The answer is bacon. Lots of bacon stuff here, even over here. There's some crocheted bacon pieces. Super cool. Here's the Keto Delight, sugar-free, gluten-free, keto, diabetic, friendly. This is what you want? All right, we're gonna take a look here. All right, so it's gluten-free, sugar-free, keto-friendly, the whole thing. So what'd you get, Angie? A maple bacon caramel cookie. Yeah, that looks good. Sugar-free. Yeah. Gluten-free, keto. Maple bacon donuts. Oh, man. Those look good. We're not gonna eat those right away. No, There's we're no way. Full. Yeah, we're gonna have to take that home with us. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna keep walking through here, see what else we can find. This is awesome. Diner for free biscuits and gravy. Uh, we're gonna try that. You want to take a bite of that? You don't? Okay, I'm gonna try it here. Oh, All right. Let's see. I don't know if I remember Black Bear Diner's biscuits and gravy. Let's see. I don't know if I've had this in a long time. It's good. It's a little cold because it's been sitting out on the on the table. I'm not going to eat much of it. How's the gravy though? It's good. Yeah. It's good flavor. I wish it had more bacon in it, but, <laughs> but it's good. need to get more of the bacon pan. Maybe. I saw some chocolate covered bacon over there. Ooh, I know. I, I know. Really yeah, well, we'll see it. All right. Yeah. Awesome. So they're doing chocolate covered bacon in different flavors so we're gonna get two of the the normal plain ones and uh, try those up all right so we're outside we are looking at some of the snack stuff this is where all the food like the hot food vendors are and uh, they've got like bacon wrapped shrimp and bacon wrapped jalapenos and bacon wrapped turkey legs yeah. and we're gonna go over here and look at some pork rinds and maybe get a drink and then uh, start heading out. Okay, and what in the world is this? So they call it a bacon... Caramel cupcake Italian ice. Yeah. So there's caramel and bacon on top, and I think it's cupcake flavored <laughs> Italian ice. Woo! Gonna be uh, you're gonna take a bite of that while I, while I talk about what's in this bag. And this bag is uh, pork rinds which I eat a lot of because it's a, a good protein snack. So let's see what Ange thinks of her Italian ice. Is she good? Yeah. A little bit of sweet with caramel and bacon. It's not bad. Okay, you awesome. Can try it? I do. Can you make me a spoonful and I'll try it right here on, on camera? Let's a see. A little bit of caramel. Yeah, really sweet with the cupcake and the caramel, but then a little bit salty with that bacon. Is it a good? Uh, yeah, that's a good mix. Tasty. That's tasty. We'll have to tell the guy thumbs up because he says, let me know what you think because it's an interesting flavor. It is, it is, it's great. So, well, that's it from us here at the Humble Bacon Festival. We had a great time. There's a lot to eat and a lot to see and a lot of vendors. A lot more people are showing up now that uh, it's closer to noon. Uh, we got here like right at 11 o'clock. So a lot more people streaming in and checking this place out. Overall, it was a lot of fun. Um, we spent uh, quite a bit of money on bacon, bacon stuff, but uh, overall it was a blast. Remember, if you like uh, watching us do stuff like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, like, the video comment on the video tell us uh, that you love bacon and uh, all its forms and if you're looking for an adventure like this something that we can help you uh, get booked check out davis duo travel or look on the socials at davis duo travel um, 
and uh, and we'll get you hooked up. Um, we've got a lot of opportunities to do a lot of really cool things on different cruises to other countries throughout the Caribbean, through Europe, all over the place, um, where you can do all kinds of fun stuff just like this. So uh, that's it from us here in Humble, Texas, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.